on everybody so here is part five so i kept count this time it's part five and let's go ahead and get into part five of my movie collection so right now we're in the l's okay so coming up first is leatherface now to give a brief history upon this one this is leatherface 2017 slash 18 the newest chainsaw film and the chainsaw movies but this one in particular points towards the original the trilogy which was from the 70s and this is the prequel and the best thing about this is that this is actually a remake of a movie that um I think his name was Thomas Hooper Jr. The uh, son of Thomas Hooper Sr. Who created the original trilogy and part two of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre back in, I think, 84, 85, I believe. One of those two. But somewhere around the line in the late 80s into the early 90s there's supposed to be another chainsaw film which this one is supposed to be based off of and a remake of what was called what was called all american massacre now there is a trailer out there's a real trailer but it never finished because of production which honestly i think because of the reason why it was really it was supposed to be a really great good one one of the best ones out the bunch of the original trilogy but he decided to do it on his own and there was so much of a budget but i think it would have been best for him to go towards through a company but then again you know they're gonna have him cut out a lot of stuff and i can see why he wanted to do it himself because what was shown in the trailer was some really great stuff that they really wouldn't have had in theaters probably would have seen on the dvd release years later if it would have went through and what i'm talking about it takes place in a prison asylum just like this one and I'd r i recommend this this is like i said this is the prequel towards the original trilogy not the remake trilogy so this is the prequel trilogy so it would have been this one followed up by the original from uh, in the 70s then part two from the 80s i'm not counting texas chainsaw massacre leatherface or next generation i don't really give a shit about those but then you have the remake trilogy Oh, actually, before I forget, then you have Texas Chainsaw. So you could kind of put that in front of Part 2. Because Texas Chainsaw is a remake of Part 2. But you could kind of fit it in years later. And I did a video about that already that you guys can find either on my YouTube page or on my Facebook page. So I don't want to get too much into it. But I recommend Leatherface 2017. This is a good one. Coming up next now, we got a Land of the Dead. Land of the Dead. Not too much to say. And we got Let's Be Cops. Great comedy. Great comedy. Um, what else? Then we got Logan. I do recommend Logan. And we have Lakeview Terrorist. Okay, we got that. Now we're going into the J's. So here we have Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. And we got Jeepers Creepers 3. A lot of people, this movie got a lot a lot of bad backlash. And I can see uh, the, the point of view on that. Followed up by, it, it, to me it was a good movie. It, it really was. You know, I did appreciate it. I enjoyed it for what it was. So I can see both sides of the coin. Coming up next is Joyride. That's a great one. So is Joyride 2. Here we got Jason X. Um, next we got Justice League Dark. I do recommend this. Then we got Justice League. Followed up we got Justice League Doom. That's a good one. And we have Justice League Clash of Two Earths. And we got Joe Dirt 1. So, we're doing three... We're going to be doing this by threes. So now we're on our last third batch so each so since we're wrapping down the movie collection there's go, these are going to be done by threes 
just to keep it going. And we're in the eyes, which only have two, so which is Iron Man 1. Iron Man 2, nah, Iron Man 3 was good, but I'm, I wouldn't really own it. But for the last one in the eyes is It 2017. So that's it for part 5 of my movie collection. Stay tuned tomorrow, which is... I just discovered a hidden apartment in this backpack. I'm like, look, I'm like, what is this? Okay. Oh, I didn't know I could put stuff back there. So stay tuned for part six on Monday, and I'm out.